Hey there guys, it's Jason Mazda, and today I have some exciting news to share with you guys. There has been a development in the Sims 4 modding community. A creator by the name of Twisted Mexi, I hope I'm saying that right, full credit to him for this mod, or her, him or her, um, they created a move objects on cheat, uh, which is really awesome for builders and just general simmers in general. Um, should be really, really cool. So I've just installed the mod. Uh, you can do that by first registering to mod The Sims. It's really quick, really easy, and they have plenty of good content on their website. Download the file. You will need a file which can um, extract zip files. Uh, you need to put the extracted files into My Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then into your mods files. That should be there already. Uh, if not, you can create a mods file in your Sims 4 file where you put all your Sims 4 stuff. Um, and then you need to enable script mods in your game. I will show you very quickly how to do that. So we are going to go to game options. And then we're going to go to other. So there's an option here where you can select script mods. Originally it was disabled. I just clicked enabled and then you're going to have to restart your game for it to work. Uh, you might be able to do it without restarting your game, you can give it a shot, uh, but there's no guarantee that it'll work without restarting the game. So this is a house that I have been building. Uh, it's a house which The Sims Supply, James and I are actually um, going to be doing a can uh, a joint build uh, project for. Um, I'm actually quickly just going to change the camera angle. If you don't know, you can also press tab to change the camera angle while in live mode. Um, so I am going to give it a go. And we're going to try building a little living room. So I really like these couches. So we're going to go for this nice orange design. Um, let's put it in the corner and then we're going to go check that out. See, it overlaps and you can use your alt key and you can move it anywhere. Won't work through walls, but it will work through other objects. So, let's do this. Looks like that. What if we do this? Okay, so you've got to reposition it a little bit. One thing I really loved in The Sims 3 and also The Sims 2 is being able to create um, L-shaped couches and desks. Uh, one other thing we're going to try, we're going to turn around a little bit. We're going to go into our study. We're going to get a desk. Um, I haven't actually really looked at which desk would work best for this. Let's just go with the basic one. So. And then we're going to put, so you can do something like that, so a larger desk. Or what I'm wanting to do, which is this, so you can create sort of like a little corner office. And if you're really uh, into building office kind of things, you can line it up, make it really nice. It takes a little bit of effort to adjust everything. Let's drop some of these walls down so everyone can see. So what I'm trying to do is like a little cubicle for an office. Um, obviously you can see since the chairs go through as well, uh, there are some problems that way. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put two chairs in and then we're going to put some computers in. So let's put a computer there and Let's put another computer here. So let's chuck in some lights while we're here. So lighting, check some lamps on. So like you can see, um, objects can be placed on uh, the content like normal and you can actually put them like under. <laughs> so that's something cool we can try. Uh, let's put a ceiling light in quickly just to brighten this up a little bit. That looks better, it sort of fits the theme of the room. So let's go into live mode. So let's get our sim to go here. 
so he's following, starting his stuff around. I want him to write a genre book. So one thing you will see is you'll see a little bit of glitching between the objects. Um, let's just quickly click that. Um, what you can do is you can adjust this a little bit by uh, changing the lighting around the house. Uh, it also stops if you stop moving. Um, if you pick certain colors, it looks a little bit better. So we can try that quickly. Uh, black normally works fairly well. Uh, you can also see that's a little bit darker because of the lighting that we've got. So let's... Um, where do we want to put it? Let's put it there. So you can obviously change the colors around and you can create sort of unique designs. There is a little bit of glitching with it. Um, you can pick up the objects and like this... Um, Move that back. You can't actually move your sim though, so let's undo that. So one thing that we have realised from doing this is you can't move your sim. And I'm actually interested to see... Okay, that's good. So if you put them just on the edges of each other, it doesn't glitch as much. Um, there might be a little bit of a problem with the chair now. So let's remove that one and let's just go for the... So obvious, le obviously less glitching. Uh, let's go here quickly and let's get him back on the computer. I just want to test that this is all good. Okay, so you can create sort of unique designs like that. Uh, the couches look a little bit odd at this point. That's a bit better. Um, I'm going to change the colour around again, same sort of principle, uh, different colours are better. You can actually do whatever you want though, um, so it really depends on your preference. Let's get into nap, oh, we have to cancel that. So obviously that looks pretty cool actually. Um, one thing I also want to see is with our landscaping. Uh, you'll notice with this house a lot of the landscaping objects, they're pretty well placed, but um, I think they could be placed a little bit better. So let's grab this one. Oh, <laughs> this is so great. So things can go within each other. Uh, let's go to daylight so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy. Thank you, Twisted Mexi. Uh, full credit for, uh, to you for creating this cheat. Uh, it's really going to help builders and uh, sim players alike just create really awesome designs. Um, let's try this out. So, can't go in. Well, can we put them on a roof? Okay, let's come in through there. Oh, but this is so cool. I'm so happy. So you can put them in your garden, which is pretty great. Um, I really just wanted to test this cheat out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, full links to where you can download this cheat will be in the description. Again, all you have to do is register to mod the sims. Uh, you need to do that to download the creation. Download the file, extract the files, and put them in your mods folder. And then you need to enable script mods in your game. Any questions again, leave them in the description. Hopefully I or other simmers will be able to help you out. Have an excellent day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.